I'm doing a mini session for a client. I'm going to read these goals here and get started. The goals are, honestly, I don't have a question. <laughs> All right, we can work with that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to relax and I'll tune into your energy field and we'll see what comes up, okay? Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of, let's just start with the shape of a, well, if you have an X, it's the same length on all sides, north, east, south, west kind of thing, but you turn it so it's like a cross, but it isn't a cross because it's the same si same length on all sides, so it's a plus sign, okay? And it's very long. It's a very long object, like a hallway, but you can't, it's, it's a plus sign. It's made out of some kind of plastic. It's got a very light purple color to it that goes into really light pastel blue and white into almost like a pearl and silver. I just feel like there's some disconnect, like like this object is a shape that we need to put through um like you could have a kid's toy for like little babies where you have a cube that you know goes into the square shape and then you have a sphere that goes into the circle shape and then we have this uh you know cylinder that goes into the circle like it's something like this we have a plus sign that goes into the plus sign sh you know shape into the bucket and so this object seems to be out of place like it needs to get put into place you're also a bit like you're made out of drifting a drifting type energy in the air, very dreamlike energy, far, far away, kind of reminds me of Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. She's actually dreaming right there. She's not even awake in that event. That didn't even happen, right? Because it was a dream or did it really happen? So you have all of this going on right now. So what I'm going to do is just bring you back into your body. <laughs> That's step one. I don't know what it is about this plus sign, but it belongs in your third eye. I mean, it's like really long. Like, what am I going to do with this plus sign object? <laughs> it's so long and weird. It is pretty looking. All right, when I put it back into your third eye, it's very disorienting right now. There's some emotional um, baggage kind of on the back side of you, around the shoulders and the neck, back of the head, and there's anger to it. It's kind of like a barking sound, like barking at yourself it's like you're kind of having an argument with yourself. You could be making some changes, some life changes, and then there's just a little bit of a feather ruffling from within you that says, what are you thinking? You can't do that. That's never going to work out. So it's kind of like a barking, kind of that type of, um, that's what it feels like to me. I just put my hand into that barking energy and I just wave it away and I say you can bark at yourself all day but you don't have to. I mean you could have a neighbor's dog barking and it's really annoying but guess what inside yourself you can you can shut the dog up <laughs> like you can just say no you don't need to bark and just wave it away and it'll disappear.
the reason why it's been barking is because there's something sad inside yourself that wants to be reconciled as well. And you're kind of looking for an answer out there. And it's like you're looking for an answer in your dreams. Do you feel like Dorothy was looking for an answer in her dreams? And that's why the lion and the tin man and the, and the scarecrow, they all they came to be. But they were also parts of her family as well. You're trying to find something for sure. I mean, we all are. But that's very sentimental feeling. The dog isn't, there's no barking now. And again, I'm pulling a lot of energy back into you. And I'm helping you to just come back to the solid you that you are. And you feel a bit emotional, like crying. And maybe there's no real explanation for the emotion. You don't have to have an explanation for why you feel emotional. It's just, it's just clearly you need to feel emotional. So just do it. I'm still bringing you back into your body. And I'm bringing you back to solidity. You kind of... Um, it's like if solidity could suddenly become a blanket, you know, and now as a blanket, it's like a jellyfish and it's just floating amongst the waves as the waves take it. And it's not really in control, but it is still doing what jellyfish do. And the blanket is still kind of free and going places. The plus sign isn't in the third eye. Does it have to be, you know, the barking like... But it's like, bring the solidity back. It's like coming back into yourself. And being okay with your feelings. Being okay with the unknown. Letting life reveal the answer. Where Sometimes I'm like the master of throwing myself into an idea. And I screw it up really bad. On a lot of different levels. But I actually start by making mistakes. And then I learn from the mistakes later. And so that's how I, I happen to do things. And so you could try to avoid making mistakes to make your life easier in the long run. But why not just be okay with making mistakes? It feels like I needed to say that. And you can decide if you needed to hear that or not. But it's like it's okay to make some decisions and just see what happens, you know. And if it doesn't work out, then you found out, you know. All right, this again, it's, boy, it is very emotional in your third eye, like very emotional and a lot of tears coming down. Oh, man. Oh, God. Stress? Still bringing you back to solidity, okay? You're getting there. You're you're asking yourself to make too many decisions. It's like I I feel like you're putting some some expectations or some solid choices. Oh man, okay. It's going to be a little tough for me to talk right now. Cuz I'm as I'm bringing you back to solidity, I'm feeling solidity happen. The emotions aren't quite the same now. There's a pause and reflection going on inside yourself. You're you're feeling like you're waking up now. Oh, you're feeling better. You're feeling bright very quickly. You're feeling you're feeling safe, safer. Just more secure in you just being you and letting life just be whatever life needs to be. Like, you're very quickly what is, like, bouncing back. You just... You are. I still feel there's stuff in the heart, emotional gut, but you are. You're coming back into yourself and you're feeling more grounded, more self-aware. You feel more solid,
but it does seem like there are some decisions. Like there's a there's a there's a place where I I it looks like a very long bar, um, which could be an old diner uh, where you could go sit and eat breakfast at the counter and have coffee. But it's only you, and you're just sitting on one of these rounded seats, um, and it's red it's leather, and then there's some, like metal underneath. It's very diner like. And you're the only one in this diner. And you're really thinking. And for some reason, every single seat represents, that isn't filled, represents some type of decision. That's not being made. And it all comes down to you to make the decisions. But you're putting too much responsibility on your own shoulders. Just give it some time. It's all going to reveal itself in time. Yeah, okay, that's all I can share. Oh my gosh, cool, thank you. So glad you explored this session. Sometimes there's literally no question that, like, sometimes you just got to leave it open and see what comes. This should help. All right, thank you again. Thank you for sharing. And um, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all and have a great day.